Welcome to the Just Jim Radio Show. Uh, we're here on another beautiful day in paradise, uh, sharing some inspiration, information, education, uh, insights to help you look and find, experience, express who you really are and make your life just a, a little bit better or a deeper or higher connection to your true spirit and uh, a little bit of fun once in a while. Um, here at Just Jim, we're really looking to be real and practical about what we do and how we do it. And so um, when we do that, we do that through conversations, interviews. Uh, sometimes I'll ramble on for a while about something. So uh, today we've got Jen Bletcher and Laverne Duff here uh, from Sarasota Center of Light. Uh, we're here to talk about a new book uh, from Sarasota Center of Light just published, Pearls of Light, a Gift from Spirit, Handbook for Awakening the Soul. Uh, Jen and Laverne are devoted and dedicated to the center, which is a, a metaphysical church, a spiritual center, or has a wonderful education program. And the two of them are extremely dedicated to uh, working with the information that has been accumulated over decades uh, that have been created through the work that the original ministers, uh, Reverend Dorothy and Dr. Russell, um, were able to bring in uh, through their mediumship and through the classes that they taught. And so they're completely committed uh, to bringing over 70 years of information uh, to, to the public. And this book is part of that. Um, both of them are such wonderful uh, people and, and ladies who give so much of their heart and soul each and every day, uh, both in their lives individually, uh, to those who they care about, and through the center to so many um, who benefit from all the energy and effort and love and light that they give as they are of service in how they are. Hi, Jen. Hi, Laverne. How you doing? Hi, Jim. We're doing well. How are you? Excellent. Hi, how are Thank you? you. <laughs> Good deal. Uh, so we're here talking about the book. Um, this is a book published by Sarasota Center of Light, um, and I'm very much aware of the fact that this book could not, would not uh, exist if it wasn't for the two of you. Um, certainly, spirit plays a role in this, and, and all that they've brought in, and Reverend Dorothy and Dr. Russell contributing, the original pastors, when all of the, the information came in and came through, which we'll talk about in just a minute, but the two of you are the ones that are responsible for the research and the documentation of all this information. And it's been a little bit more than a project, a little bit more than just something that needed to be done. This is a very deep and profound commitment that the two of you have. Tell us a little bit about how the two of you decided to create this book. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much for having us on your show today. It's a, it's a pleasure to do so and to be able to uh, on Spirit's behalf, speak about this beautiful book. And, um, well, we have been working on this book for well over a year and a half. And um, actually, Laverne and I have been working uh, on the for the uh, Sarasota Center of Light Press for just about 10 years now. And um, we were inspired by Spirit, actually, to um, produce this book. Um, through one of our um, visiting mediums that have come ha has come to the center, and um, the Dr. Davis, um, Dr. Charles Davis, is the um, spirit guide, the not the head guide, the doctor of philosophy or the spirit doctor, so to speak, for Reverend Dorothy, our founder, and he uh, initiated and governed the uh, Wednesday night classes that she. Um, would um, provide uh, while she was in trance for well over 40 years. And the material that has come through um, it is from Master Teachers in Spirit. And the class students uh, over the years have transcribed all of the pastors who have come through, trance mediumship, trumpet mediumship through Reverend Dorothy. And we have a plethora and a treasure trove of information at our center um, that is being pr produced into uh, materials that are going to the wider community 
um, to help with spiritual growth uh, for those who are seeking to to uh, expand their awareness and yeah, to make lives that's better. A, that's a lot. Um, I, I was curious. You said for those who are listeners who may not understand inspired by spirit, tell us how the two of you said, let's do this, how this particular book came about um, in the way that you guys were maybe chatting or, or doing what you were doing. What what really got this flowing? Because once it got started, there was no stopping it. Hi, it actually, um, it did start with um, the visiting medium who brought through Dr. Davis, right. who told us to get this information out. Um, then we we were inspired personally be, between the two of us through automatic writing to actually do a workbook that we could put out to people that they would have information at hand. And so it really was um, inspired truly by spirit. They guided us all along the way. If we got stuck on something, we would just sit down, do automatic writing, ask for their guidance and help, and it would come to us. They told us how to format it and how to have it flow. So like we were talking about it coming through the mediumship, the trance mediumship and from spirit, uh, for those who may not know uh, what automatic writing is, it's it's connecting to that inspiration, that connection to spirit that each of us have in our own way and and opening up to then writing automatically the information that's coming to us through our intuition, through our inner knowing, through our connection to spirit. And so it's a, a wonderful vehicle through which a way uh, spirit or the non-physical angels and guides and masters can uh, communicate by uh, using us as uh, a channel through which that information can come and then be written. Um, sometimes people will speak. Uh, in fact, some of this came through uh, trance mediumship and, and trumpet mediumship. The book is described as a compilation of lectures and dialogues from master teachers in spirit through the trance mediumship of Reverend Dorothy Graf Flexer. For our listeners who may not be familiar with some of those terms, um, share a little bit about how these lectures and dialogues came from these master teachers. Um, just kind of a simple version of what that looks like or how that how that comes about. Yes, thank you. Good point. And so <clears throat> trumpet mediumship is a very rare form of physical mediumship in that a medium will sit in a darkened space and um, her doctor of philosophy or um, head guide will um, bring about uh, a trance, help her to help the medium to go into a trance state. And then the spirit team uh, will bring about the ectoplasm from the medium's body, which is produced by the body. And it's a gauzy like um, ethereal kind of a material in which they would take a cone-shaped metal, usually aluminum or tin instrument, looks like a cone, a long-shaped cone. They would um, build up a stand for to sit on made of ectoplasm. They would build a voice box within the trumpet, which is then connected to the voice box of the medium, him or herself. And then the spirit would then be able to speak through that trumpet because obviously those in spirit do not have physical bodies, do not have voice boxes. They physically cannot speak, even though there is direct voice um, uh, manifestation as well, which is another form of medium uh, trans mediumship. Um, and so um, Dr. Davis, for instance, would bring through a master teacher to pr present a lecture or a dialogue um, with engaging the students. And some of it was pre-planned and some of it was, Master teachers uh, were on the spirit side of life would be attracted to the vibration of the the class and the students and what was being discussed and, and want to part to impart some of the, uh, the wisdom that that particular teacher would like to share and that's that's basically how that goes. So it's the, the mediums acting as a a conduit and a channel for this process which. Um, is quite extensive and, and rather rare nowadays. Uh, and I'm very familiar with Reverend Dorothy's work and how extensive and advanced hers was. And to have 
an opportunity to sit in a room and to be able to experience um, the personality, the voice, the information coming from someone uh, and being able to hear it and, and then, of course, being transcribed or recorded as these archives you've spoken about have been done. We're talking about information that's coming directly from spirit, coming directly from the non-physical realm and from individuals who uh, have a great deal of wisdom that they're able to share. And, and that's where this information, over 60 of these lectures and dialogues uh, are in the book. Um, and, and so it's, it's amazing to think that all this information having come from where it did, and this is just the beginning, we'll, we'll talk more about future books, but to have this information available is just astounding. And, and I, I saw that it's described as having been created to inspire positive change. It's one thing to have this information from masters and to have that available to you, but there's a purpose behind this, not just to share the information, but for positive change. How do you see that helping people, that positive change you're talking about for them? Yes, thank you. And personally speaking, there are, um, you know, we go through our lives and sometimes we think, well, you know, I could have done this better. I should have done that. Or how can I do this? Or what I'd like to experience this in my life. How can I, how can I bring that about? And the guidance in this book brings about information that helps one to look at a different perspective, a higher perspective from the soul level, from their higher self, so to speak. And then in turn, with the will, we are able to then maybe make better choices. And our lives and our awareness then expands in a beautiful way, which is al allows us to, to experience more of life's fullness that we came to experience on the earth plane. And so this information allows us to, again, see things in a different way, to be make better choices, and to um, then be an, a positive example of what can really be, uh, what can manifest in life, which would then serve as an influence or as an example to others. So it really does start with ourselves. And so this book really is for the individual, and but there's the broader ramification of the information just automatically being passed through to others um, in a very graceful way. It's interesting to to listen to how this book is different from. I mean, I'm, I mean, there's there are books published. It seems like every day, and there's wonderful information being offered in varying books, different experiences and different views people have had. But we're talking about a very profound depth of information, inspiration literally as you're reading these dialogues and these lectures they awaken or instill within your heart and soul something completely different so it's not just your mind taking in the words those are important too there's great knowledge and wisdom in in what the masters are sharing but it actually wakes up your spirit to a different degree and and you're able to take in meaning of what's being shared from spirit through these masters, through this mediumship of Reverend Dorothy. And although those who might read the book may not be familiar with that process or how that works, there'll be a direct experience of the energy associated with it because it has come from that higher place, that higher realm, um, that place of inspiration and guidance that, that so many look to in so many different ways. In this case, we'll just speak about it 